After all the activity of yesterday, it's good to have things quiet again. So take the opportunity to enjoy the quiet while you can, and to make the most use of it. Simply enjoying it, you could just rest for the day, not do much. But if you want to make the most of it, you realize that the mind still hasn't found the happiness it really wants. It wants something that doesn't change. I know people who say that given the teachings on inconstancy and impermanence, we have to accept the fact that things in the world are impermanent, we're going to find our happiness in the midst of those unpermanent, impermanent things. But that's got the context backwards. Look at the Buddha. He wasn't the sort of person who simply sat around and accepted things. He did accept the fact that he was looking for happiness in things that age, grow ill, and die. He wanted to find something that didn't age, didn't grow ill, didn't die. And so the fact of impermanence in that context means if you're looking for happiness in things that are impermanent, you're looking in the wrong place. But we do have to depend on a path that we put together, which is going to be an impermanent path, but it can lead to something that's more solid, secure. So look at the things that you're creating with your mind, your thoughts, your words, your deeds. Which direction are they heading in? Looking for happiness and things that change, or looking for happiness and things that don't change? And then choose the second ones, because that's the context. The context is our desire for true happiness, a happiness that doesn't let us down. And the good news of the Buddha's teachings is that there is such a thing. The rest of the world says things are going to change, so you have to put up with it, learn to grab what you can while you can. It's a pretty hopeless message that we get from the world. The message from the Buddha is, no, there is a happiness that really is true, and people can attain it through their own efforts. You don't have to wait for somebody else to come along and be kind enough to help you. You can do it on your own. So we live in an impermanent world, a world of aging, illness, and death. But there is that desire, may I be happy, and the Buddha says, nurture that desire. Take it seriously. Give it the priority that it deserves. And you'll find that you can take it far. <laughs>